Well, London is the largest and most diverse city in the UK, and it voted overwhelmingly to remain in the European Union. Uh, but the aftermath of the vote to leave has seen a rise in xenophobic attacks across Britain. I'm joined now by London Mayor and Labour politician Sadiq Khan. Thank you very much indeed. It's welcome a pleasure. to you. Al Jazeera, just on that, that's perhaps one of the ugliest consequences of this vote, is these rise in, in hate crime and racist incidents. Well, London uh, is the greatest city in the world. Our country is a great city. Uh, but it breaks my heart that I'm afraid there has been an increase in racial attacks and racial abuse over the last six days. We've got to stamp this out. And I've said to the Met Police, we must have zero tolerance towards this. We must make sure that no nobody gets away with doing these things. And I'm pleased to say there'll be extra vigilance as far as the police are concerned. Uh, and the government has promised uh, some extra measures. Is that enough, do you think? I mean, what sort of things do you actually want to see to make this um, be tackled quickly? Well, look, one incident is one incident too much. We've got to start this out completely. Uh, and I'm pleased the Prime Minister's announced additional resources. I'm pleased he's announced an action plan. I'm quite clear in my mind we're a great city. Uh, we don't simply tolerate difference. We respect it and we embrace it and we celebrate it. But I have to accept that in the last six days there's been an increase of tensions, of uh, racist graffiti being daubed, and we've got to stamp it out. What about the possible job losses from London? How concerned about you, are you about the kind of economic fallout in the, in the short and the medium term? Well, London's always been an open-minded, outward-looking uh, city. We are a leading global commercial centre. And what's really important is when this government uh, comes to do a new deal with the European Union, the next Prime Minister, that we still have access to a single market. That's crucial for jobs, for trade and for investment. So I want to reassure investors, I want to reassure, reassure business people, we're going to carry on having the most talented, innovative, creative people here in London. And what the next Prime Minister needs to do is make sure London has a seat around the negotiating table and we're going to deal with the European Union. Uh, when you say a seat around the negotiating table, we've seen Nicola Sturgeon going off to, to argue um, Scotland's case and, and perhaps suggesting that there should be a, an exception made because of the way Scotland voted. But in a way, London is a similar... Uh, situation where London largely remitted to, voted to remain. Do you think there should be a, an argument for running this again or for a way round it? Well, look, so, so, so London is the only region in England that voted to remain in the EU by a decisive majority. What's important is the government recognises London is the powerhouse for our country. The country needs London to do well. So when it comes to the government doing a deal with the EU, they've got to make sure we're around the table so we can argue London's case. That means access to a single market, that means the passport in the financial services. We've got to make sure the government takes on board our concerns. But you, you, you've talked about needing more autonomy for the capital, but aren't you, in a, in a way, sort of talking about essentially the, the, the demise of the, the UK? If, if Scotland decides to vote uh, to leave the UK and you're saying that London needs to be a special case, is this a kind of break-up of the union? No, not at all, because if London does well, the whole country prospers. I'm not saying we should be an independent city-state uh, with me called President Khan. No, not at all. London should still be part of uh, England and the United Kingdom. What I'm saying, though, is give London more control over business and skills, being able to borrow to invest, uh, over um, housing, transport. We need more devolution out of civil service in Whitehall to London, to Manchester, to Liverpool, to Leeds, to Scotland and to Wales. And how concerned are you about the lack of leadership at the moment in, in, on both sides, uh, that, that actually there's no one seems to have a clear plan as to what to do? Oh, th there is a big problem in British politics with the con Conservative Party going through a leadership contest with the Labour Party having a vote of no confidence in Jeremy Corbyn. That's and one on, of the reasons on, why... On Jeremy Corbyn, do you think he should go? Well, that's for Labour MPs to decide in Parliament. I'm going to stay well out of that because my job is to be the Mayor of London. What's important is for Nicola Sturgeon for myself to make sure we argue the respective cases for our constituents to the European Union, but also to our government as well. Yeah, but on that point, you I mean, you are a Labour politician and perhaps one of the most senior, most prominent ones at the moment. There's no one, everyone else seems to be out of the shadow cabinet and there's nobody kind of really in any position of, of what appears to be power in the Labour Party. Yeah. So you perhaps need to say what your view is on and Jeremy Corbyn and, and, for, and the rest of the party. And it's for that reason, because the Prime Minister is a lame duck Prime Minister, uh, the Jeremy Corbyn and the Labour leadership have problems that I've stepped in. I mean, talking and reassuring, reassuring businesses, speaking to investors, telling the world that London is open for business. Uh, we are open. We're going to carry on being open-minded, outward-looking. This is the best place to do business. We've got talent, creativity, innovation, great culture. Uh, come to London. But aren't you embarrassed by the way that Labour Party is handling itself at the moment? Listen, I, I think we've got to learn lessons from the refer referendum campaign. I think we've got to recognise that we have a job to be an effective opposition. Uh, Labour MPs are, are discussing, debating, arguing about this in Parliament. My job is to be the Mayor for London, saying to investors and businesses around the world, please come to London. You've got the we've got the best talent uh, here. We're going to make sure 
that the next government does a deal with the EU which ensures we have access to the single market, including the passporting of financial services. And on that point, I mean, people have, who voted Leave, for many of them, it, the issue was immigration, yeah. whether they say so now or not. Um, do you think now that they, there is a kind of a question mark over whether you can actually have a, a trading relationship with Europe without having the kind of immigration that we had already, so that actually nothing is going to change on that front? Well, the, the, the circle uh, that needs to be squared from the Leave campaign team is how you can have access to a single market and a free movement. When you look at those countries outside of the EU that have a deal with the EU, think of Norway, think of Switzerland, the quid pro quo of having access to a single market is freedom of movement. Now, I'm quite clear in my mind, if we want to have jobs, trade, investment, lower prices in London, we need to make sure we've got access to a single market. That includes uh, the government doing a deal with the European Union. It's for the next Prime Minister to square that circle. I'm quite clear, though, if we want to maintain our place as a leading global commercial centre, if we want jobs in London, trade coming to London, investment coming to London, we've got to have access to a single market. Okay, Sadiq Khan, Mayor of London. Thank you very much, My Steve. Pleasure. Thank you.